an organization composed of two people is called a partnership. So to form a team, you need to have at least three members. So I was thinking of these two action figures um, that I recently reviewed and I want to um, incorporate this into my display. So somehow I just did not want them to fit into a G.I. Joe classified series um, line or my G.I. Joe classified series display. I wanted something different, something unique. So while doing my laundry and watching the Mr. Balen YouTube channel, so a lot of uh, content about Bigfoot and Sasquatch in different parts of the country and not only in the United States but also in Canada and other regions in the world. So I thought about my own Action Force Anti-Sasquatch Team. So the villain of this Action Force Anti-Sasquatch Team, we need a Bigfoot figure. So to take that Bigfoot role, we have the Marvel Legends build a bear figure. To fill that role of the third member of this um, Action Force um, set or diorama that I want to uh, make, so I wanted a G.I. Joe classified series Outback action figure but I couldn't take hold of that Outback action figure so instead of um, really scoring the internet and uh, paying ridiculous prices I just took a look at my um, loose action figures collection and concentrated on this guy so actually I have three of these new action figures on board and they are just waiting to fill out a specific role so first part of the modification process the easiest thing is the head swap so gun is the new head we have the bro thor head on this figure which complements the total look of the figure and is something similar to the feel of the out the gi joe outback character so the next process was to cut off the knife which was uh, situated on the vest of the back of the vest of the figure and we have a secondary belt attachment so which makes a very suitable place to attach or situate or resituate the knife so having the knife on this side that is Hollywood but in um, actual um, usage it's hard to access accessories or gear that is placed on the back especially uh, things like knife wherein you this uh, the knife sheet is placed or attached through molly webbing and when you unsheet it try placing it back is going to be a chore so the having swords or knives on the back of the figure that is hollywood okay so with the knife on this side it makes really a tactical um, advantage for outback so when he runs out of ammo from the um, AK-47 semi-auto rifle of course don't bring a bolt action rifle to a Sasquatch hunt bring a semi-auto with a sizable round and as a backup we have an extra bag already attached or strapped on the magazine that is um, already fed to the rifle so instead of having a pistol on this figure i assigned the gi joe classified series gang-ho backpack to this um, figure um, two purposes one to have um, storage of um, possible um, survival um, stuff like mres or extra clothes or medical kit and at the same time they are good attachment points for um, extra 
uh, firepower so instead of uh, giving this guy a pistol which is going to really piss off that guy so give him a 12 gauge shotgun a broomstick uh, chambered with um, ball or uh, buckshot so bigger rounds and more lethal rounds instead of um, 9 millimeter or 45 or 10 millimeter which is going just to piece that guy so we have two on board so if you run out of shotgun ammo that's why it's called a broomstick because you could whack that guy with this so it go, it doubles as a baton <laughs> so why um, have uh, only a single broomstick on board when you could have two because of course shotgun um, systems are really um, crude systems and they really hold low capacity it with regards to ammunition but with regards to stopping power stopping um, big guys like this then really sufficient so give this outback figure two so i finally complete my action force anti sasquatch team with the sasquatch on board so if you like this video like comment and subscribe and let's play so let's go through the photos and the video shots